Hi everyone, I'm Cody W3AMG with BridgeCom Systems and in this video we're going to be showing you how to program your DMR radio to work with a hotspot, whether that's a SkyBridge hotspot or one you already have. So let's get into it. First thing we're going to do is plug in and turn on our radio. So I'm going to open up the port on the side of the radio here. Just like that. Perfect. And we'll plug in the radio. And plug that radio into the computer as well. Now at this point, we can jump into the computer and open up the CPS, which I've done already. If you don't have that, you can obtain a copy from bridgecomsystems.com. Click on the support tab and then download your version of the CPS. After that, uh, we're pretty much set up for programming. Uh, now at this point, we need to find out what our, our SkyBridge hotspot is actually set up for in terms of frequencies. So let's open up a web browser. And the nice thing about the SkyBridge is you can actually see the IP address right from the front screen. So we can see here that it's 192.168.1.177. So if we type this into our web browser up here and click enter, we're going to be taken to the, the dashboard for it. Uh, now, if you don't have a SkyBridge, it may be a lot more complicated to find that. You might have to go through your router or your internet to be able to find that IP address uh, because it will most likely change every time you plug it in and turn it on. Um, but we're set up here. And so you simply want to go to configuration. Now at this point, you'll be asked to sign in. So from here, uh, the username is going to be pi star with a dash. So pi dash star, all lowercase. And then the password is raspberry, all lowercase. Perfect, just like that. We are into the SkyBridge. Now at this point, uh, we can either set this up for the first time or if it's already set up, uh, we should be in good shape here. So we can see 446.550 is our frequency. So we wanna keep track of that 446.550. And then let's find out the other information, color code one. And I believe uh, this would use time slot two. So uh, we're set here. We know the information we need to program in our radio. So let's go ahead and do that. So over here on the radio, I already have a lot of talk groups set up for the SkyBridge, but let's scroll down here and we'll create a blank one. Now, at this point, you would want to read from your radio. Uh, I'll go ahead and do that real quick. So just click on the COM port, COM3, and then we're gonna click read from radio. And really for adding this information, uh, you probably don't need to read anything but the other data. So click OK and other data. Now, once we're done with this, if we import digital contact list, we'll want to uh, export everything back to the radio, right to the radio with the digital contact list. There we go, so read from radio. Awesome, we are all set. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just go to a blank item here and we're going to, let's set up the parrot. So parrot and then uh, frequency. So we know our frequency it's 446.550, 446.550, and then digital, definitely, and transmit power, since we're talking to the hotspot, we're gonna make that low, because uh, you're not really gonna need any higher power than low with a hotspot, because the hotspot's not powerful enough to reach you at any greater distance than that. So we're gonna say low, that'll save your battery life too, and just leave everything here alone. Simplex, that's fine. And the contact, we want to make that, in this case, the parrot. Let's see if we can find the parrot. 9990 parrot. We'll add that. And color code, I believe, we'll go back out here. Color code number one, color code one. So we'll do color code one just like that, and I believe the time slot should be time slot two for this. Great, so we are pretty much all set here, and just click OK. So at that point, you are set. We have now set up our radio to work with our SkyBridge. We've only programmed in one channel, 
Uh, now to get that talk group, you will also have to program in the talk group. So if we go over here to digital, contact slash talk group, uh, this is where you would program in your different talk groups. So I've already programmed in a bunch, uh, but it's super simple. If we scroll down here to a blank spot once again, I'll show you how it works. So just double click on one and oops. So we'll give it a name and then a group call or private call. Uh, if it's like the parrot, you want it to be private call, but if it's a talk group, like a statewide talk group, you're gonna make that a group call. And then in the DMR ID section, that's where you put the number. So like the parrot is 9990, and then you simply click okay. So you wanna go ahead and add all the different talk groups you want first before you add them to your channels. So we've already done that, we're in good shape there. So if we go back over here to the channel, we can see we can talk to our SkyBridge with our radio just like that. So to test this out and show you it actually works, what I'm going to do is give this a slightly different name here. Uh, so I'm gonna call it Parrot Test. There we go. And then we have to make sure to add this to a zone. So we'll go to zone. We have a lot of different zones here, but I'm gonna add it to my SkyBridge zone. So we'll scroll all the way down. Parrot test, there it is. We'll add that over here. Okay. And now at this point, we can select our COM port again. Yep, radio is still connected. And then click the button to the right of that to write to radio. Click OK. And then if you've added other information, such as your digital contact list, um, you also want to check this box. In this case, I already have that on the radio, so I'm going to skip over that. It'll make it faster and we're gonna write this to the radio. Write data completed, awesome. So we're here over on the radio. We can unplug it at this point. Wait for that to boot back up. Awesome, so the radio is turned on. We can see that is the parrot that we did have. Uh, now let's go to the one that we just programmed in for the test, parrot test, perfect. So we just set this one up. Awesome, there we go. So let's go ahead and try it out. We've got our SkyBridge turned on here, connected to the internet. So let's give it a shot. Testing one, two, three. This is Cody W3AMG, testing out the Parrot on my new, uh, newly programmed radio. Testing one, two, three. This is Cody W3AMG, testing out the Parrot on my new, uh, newly programmed radio. Perfect, there we go. How cool is that? So it is working. Uh, simple as that. Now this is just one talk group. You can program as many talk groups as you'd like. In fact, we actually offer a super code plug and now an ultra code plug that includes over 800 different talk groups already pre-done for you. Uh, so that way, instead of having to do them one by one, you can actually purchase that and get everything all done for you pre-made. Uh, it's a great value and opportunity for you. But for those of you who want to learn how to do it, this is how it's done. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you learned something from today's video. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell next to it to make sure you don't miss out on any more great content. That's all I have for you today. I'm Cody, W3AMG, 7-3.